Hello YouTube, Al here, and this week I want to talk about Strat Saddles. So, this is my 2010 Mexican Standard Strat. Um, I believe that it's all stock, I've taken the back plate off, but I haven't changed anything apart from that, apart from the strings obviously and cleaned it. And this guitar is wonderful. Let me get a battered old pick, uh, I'm sure this one will do. Um, I'm just gonna strum a couple of chords and it's just so, so resonant, even unplugged. And this is what it's gonna be about, unplugged. So. It absolutely rings like a bell. Absolutely rings like a bell. So it's all stock, this. So if I compare this, which is 2010, to my blue one, let me grab that. My blue, Midnight Blue 2005 Standard Strat. Yes, it's a Roseville board. Um, this is not stock. Let me play it first. It has a lot less attack, strength of note. There's something in there that isn't the same. So uh, let me demonstrate it. The best way is just if I just pluck a low open note. So. So you can hear that this has a lot more attack and bite and sort of ping to the note rather than plumb to the note. Um, so, as I said, this is all stock. The blue, however, is modified. So, first of all, it's got a brass block on it, which did increase the sustain. That was a worthwhile upgrade for the sake of 20 quid. This is a Music Lily branded one. For 20 quid, I really couldn't argue, although there was a lot of flash, not in this side, but in the holes where you actually fit it. So I did have to make sure it was all clear of bits of flash. Um, it also has Graftec. String saver saddles. If you can see in the inserts there, it has little bits of effectively plastic or Teflon um, and graphite, sort of their own mix, whatever graph tech make. And I think it may be these saddles that are taking the, the attack off the note because it's quite a soft material in these little inserts there that stop the string breaking. That's the idea of them. So I think, I think that's why it's a bit dull. Now, I happen to have come across a set of USA Fender Strat steel saddles. You see where I'm going with this? If I put the bent steel saddles, the US ones, um, I've tested them with a magnet, as in I've stuck a magnet to the US ones and I've stuck a magnet to the ones on the Sunburst and the Burst ones are actually a bit stronger. So I'm going to leave those saddles alone. If I put the US saddles on this, will it sound louder or brighter or janglier or more ping ping than plum plum? Um, see, same pick, same attack, nothing. So maybe that will liven it up. So let's see. Let me just play a few chords and then I'm going to swap the saddles out. Um, I'm, the way I'm going to do it is one by one, starting in the middle, because then I've got a saddle either side to sort of rough out the intonation. So if I take the G saddle off, uh, then when I put the new one on, it will be roughly the same spot. I may well take a photo before I swap them over to give me a bit of a guide as well. So let me just play some chords. I'm going to try and keep these strings on. They're pretty new, but I've got a spare set if I need to, if one of these snaps, you know. So let's see how it sounds 
again, I want to do this on plug because I feel like once you start amplifying it, once you start adding pedals, people will go, well, you can't hear much of a difference. I think if it's unplugged and it's just a camera mic, um, close to the guitar, it's somewhat scientific. Of course, it's art, it's a guitar, it's sound, it's all subjective, it's all taste. But hey-ho, so let's do some chords. Let's swap these saddles out, shall we? So, again, I'm gonna pop the US ones on. Um, may have to roughly intonate it and set it up, but I'll see you in a bit. Right, the new saddles are on. Um, it's in that weird period where I've just put the strings on, I've just tuned it up less than a minute ago, and it wants to be intonated and give it five minutes and it'll be out, so I'm gonna play now. So here we go. Scratching, need to raise the, you know, uh, bloody grub screws. So it's quite dark on the lowest string still, but the other strings definitely have more ping to them. So yeah, I still need to set it up. Let me raise this just so I can actually play the bloody thing. Come on. Don't have one that fits, that's annoying. Okay, I don't have one that fits. Unless this one fits, that's very annoying. How many grub screws does a man need? Just one more, as always. Okay, well, we'll do it without. Obviously it won't hold tunes, the old strings are back on. Yes, it's slipping out of tune all the time. Um, I think this is a little bit louder. I'm pretty sure it's a bit louder. Definitely less subdued in the high end. It feels like it rings more. Yeah, so there you go. I think it seems a bit louder. Again, it's it's the, it's slipping away from being in tune and intonated by the second. But that was just a quick test. Uh, the old string saver saddles are here. You can see the brass, uh, not brass, you can see the Teflon, Graftec, Graphite, whatever they call it, inserts. It's kind of a composite of Teflon and Graphite. And I reckon that dampens the attack on the string. It will stop them breaking if you've got a problem with the strings breaking at the saddle. But I don't. And I don't like... I think these are better. I think even just... Yeah. 
maybe less so on the low string. Um, but I can definitely tell that there's a bit more, well, there's a bit less taken away. It felt a bit spongy. Yeah, yeah, spongy. The attack felt spongy before with the other saddles. So let me know what you think. I think it's a bit better and it, also it looks more correct. I didn't quite like the look of the Graftex. So that's a very, very quick test. I'll play this again, why not? Just for reference. Really loud acoustically. So, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think the Blue Strat sounded no different or better or worse or just sell it by, you know, let me know what you think in, down in the comments. Um, I think it's made a bit of a difference, but time will tell. The guitar has to settle now. It's going to scream and make itself out of all sorts of tune. And I'll have to set it up again. And after that, who knows, maybe it'll be better. So thanks for watching. My name's Al. Like, subscribe, all that nonsense. And I'll see you next week. Until then, bye-bye. Bye! -bye. bye.